My opinion is that an entrepreneur is someone who creates a new business. And an entrepreneur has a lot of challenges that an established business wouldn't have, such as finding funding. In the company that I co-founded, I went through the entire phase of startup to a mature business. And it's very exciting, but also very stressful being an entrepreneur uh, because you worry about running out of money, you have to develop your product, you have to find your customers, you have to convince people to come to work for you. Um, interestingly, I consider myself a hybrid in that I'm not a pure entrepreneur. I know some people who could never work for anyone else. And so at a young age, they'll start a business, do something. They're not afraid to cold call, network with people. Uh, I'm a little bit shy. Uh, I've come out of that going through a startup. But I was also able to work for other companies. My journey probably started in Silicon Valley. I grew up there. Uh, my parents' house was built on an apricot orchard in 1968 in Cupertino, California. Uh, I went to high school with Steve Jobs and when he founded Apple Computer, that whole area changed. So it was very much part of my culture. Everyone I knew uh, was working for a technology company or wanted to start their own company. Then I moved to Adelaide, Australia in 1993 in a very different environment. Here in Adelaide, people stay in the same job for 20 or 30 years. That would have drove me crazy. I took the first job that came up where I met the founders of Your Amigo, which the brightest group of people I ever met. Uh, that's why I decided to, we should try and start our own company like they do in Silicon Valley. We put our own money and created this company. And so now Your Amigo is in with some of the largest e-commerce companies in the world and has been around the longest in what it does and has the best reputation. It's the world leader in what it does. And I feel, feel really proud that we did this out of Adelaide. When I started, a lot of people told me we would fail. You can't do this out of Adelaide. And I believe different because I grew up in Silicon Valley where the culture was if you have bright people with bright ideas, you could build a billion dollar business.